morning. Uh, welcome to the boat net. Today, I think I'm going to try to get started fixing this rudder. Um, as you can see, it's um, in a little bit worse for wear. It, um, it actually had been coated with uh, uh, barrier paint um, and it didn't bond and that's what all this flaking is. It was always painted, it didn't have gel coat on it, but uh, this, uh, the, the barrier coat didn't bond. I think it evidently wasn't prepped good or something because whenever I pulled the boat out of the water, it did not appear to have any water in the rudder, uh, which that in itself was a bit unusual. But uh, um, anyway, as you can see, it's, it's a little bit flaky. Um, some of it bonded and some of it didn't. It no didn't. water inside the rudder and it didn't appear to be blisters. It was just where, like it didn't bond. So anyway, I've got to scrape all the loose off and you know grind it down and and then I'm going to uh, make sure that there's no wax on it. I think probably what happened was it didn't get de-waxed uh, for whatever reason. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna uh, sand it down and de-wax it and um, clean it up good and then you know, ferret, whatever I need to do. And then I'm going to uh, coat it with a, a layer of epoxy uh, and then a couple layers of epoxy berry coat and um, and then, you know, bottom paint. But see how it goes. Um, like I say, it, it, it's, in, it's, it's in better shape than it looks like. It's just that layer of paint basically is popping off. Um, like I say, it wasn't gel coated. Uh, it was originally just painted it appears or either that or somebody stripped the joke it off but anyway I don't know whether you can see this or not but this is the barrier paint that I just popped off well I scraped off what I could with just a plain old paint scraper although what was really loose and now I'm using a, a flat disc grinder uh, to just um, feather out any of the edges down to where it's really tight. I may end up grinding it all off, I'm not sure. Uh, but I won't bore you with, you know, two hours of grinding, so. Um, we'll see how it goes. Like I say, I may take it, most of it off, or I may just blend it in if, if it's, if it, you know, doesn't appear to be coming loose anywhere else, I'll probably just, you know, feather it out and then uh, fare it back out later. One thing I will mention, uh, you know, when you're sanding like this, I'm sanding you know, basically barrier coat, uh, which is an epoxy based material. And the rudder itself is made out of polyester resin and fiberglass. So the, the epoxy barrier coat's gonna be harder. So you have to be really careful or you'll end up gouging your, uh, your the original fiberglass and uh, uh, polyester resin. Uh, you have to be careful when you, you know, transition from one material to the other because it'll, the pressure that you put on the epoxy will gouge into the polyester pretty easy. So you have to have a kind of a light hand um, so that you don't end up having a whole lot of extra fairing to do. But this uh, flat disc is taking it off really easy. This is an 80, 80 grit, I believe it is. Yeah, 80 grit flat disc. Well, fortunately, the leading edge didn't seem to have any problem at all. So that I just basically you know, just sanded up fairly close to it. And like I say, all that for basically the front third um, of the rudder had no prop, no issues. The problem was in the middle and uh, here on the trailing edge, uh, but I've ground it down where I can feather it back in with some fairing compound. Uh, like I said, I didn't find any blistering at all in the, in the fiberglass and in, in the resin. Uh, it was just in that between the barrier coat with the berry coat didn't bond. Um, so I've got both sides cleaned off like that basically. Um, to where I can, I'll clean it up real good and uh, 
I've got to order some fairing compound. I'm almost out. Um, most of the time I use total boat stuff. It works pretty good. Um, but I'm almost out. I don't think I've got enough to do it. Um, so it may be a few days before I get back to it other than cleaning it good. Uh, like the other side is similar. I'm using Total Boat uh, Total Fair compound. Uh, it's pretty good stuff. It doesn't uh, leave a lot of pinholes like some of the other ones do. It'll be hard to see, I'm sure, but uh, look right down the edge of it there. Now you can see that it's starting to look pretty fair. I'm going to use just plain old water to get the bulk of this sanding dust off of this. And then after that dries good, I'll wipe over it with some acetone before I put my uh, barrier paint on it. But uh, it's just so much dust on it, I don't want to uh, take a chance on that acetone kind of somewhat dissolving that dust back into it or whatever. And the water does a really good job. water doesn't uh, dissolve the bottom paint either the acetone will so if I accidentally get the acetone on the bottom paint it, it'll smear it everywhere
Okay, that's the first coat of probably three coats on this side. All right, there's the third coat of uh, barrier barrier paint. Starts to cover pretty good after the third coat. I think that's all we put on it. It was just the three three coats. Let that cure really good and then give it a good cleaning, light sanding and good cleaning and, uh, and I'll put uh, three coats of bottom paint on it.